Welcome to another playthrough by me. A little let's play here of Quake. Quake is not the same thing as Quake. Quake is a unofficial, unofficially made Quake sequel. Now, this is another game being developed by Vicious Gaming, my little gaming group that developed Vicious Onslaught. There's a little caveat to this game, and the caveat is that the game might not ever get released due to possible lawsuit threats by the authors of the original Quake. Um, I am going to show off the game in the Let's Play instead, so that it will at least be shown off. It's just like Vicious Onslaught, it's a GZ Doom Engine game. Just like Vicious Onslaught, it uh, uses randomly generated maps made with a modified oblige called Randoom. And it's quite difficult. This is a far harder game than normal Quake is. Even on the easiest difficulty setting, it's much harder. This is probably the hardest game I've ever developed, people. So I'm going to have a hard time with this. If I die a lot, that is guaranteed in this game. Because it's very, very cruelly balanced. To the point where enemies can insta-kill you very quickly. You take lots of damage even on easy. Health is quite scarce. I wanted to make this like a lot of Quake mods that tend to overbalance the game in a difficult way. And cer certain mods make Quake very, very hard. There's, a f there's two of them I'm thinking of off the top of my head in this playthrough. Quoth is one, and Nahara is another one. They're both very, very difficult mods. Quoth is more for custom levels, but the enemies it adds into the game are very, very difficult. At least for me, anyway. Nahara adds tons of new enemies and levels and stuff into the game, and the enemies are extremely hard in that. So, Quake is a Quake sequel that is influenced by those two mods. And influenced by Quake 2 as well. This is a Quake, Quake 2, Quake 4 crossover. So, yeah. So that's what this game is about. Uh, whether I actually release this depends on what the reaction to it is. If I get no problems with the reaction, I may release it later on. But it will be a while from now. Probably January 28th or 29th will be released. If there is a problem, however, it will never be released. So the only thing you're going to see of this game is this Let's Play in that case, so that's why I'm doing this. Let's start this. This player class is from all the Quake games. Range Ranger here is the Quake 1 Marine. Private Bitterman is the Quake 2 Marine, and Corporal Kane is the Quake 4 Marine. There's no Quake 3 character in this, because that's a multiplayer game, and that doesn't count for me as a Quake single-player game, so yeah. We're playing as Corporal Kane. He's the best character class to play as in this. He gets more health at the beginning of a level than any other player class. Because he's a cyborg, just a benevolent one. He was forcefully altered to be a cyborg by the Strogue, slash Strog, whatever it is. And, and that's in Quake 4. And because of that, he's more powerful than your average Marine in this. So I'm playing as a Quake 4 Marine because this is really, really difficult. So I know this took a long time to describe it, but let's get into it now. We're playing on Beginner, the easiest difficulty setting, because I suck at this. I am terrible at this thing. Okay, so I got 100 health, not 150, but still. He has an ability in this, which allows him to jump really high. That's really useful. So here we go. This gun here is your blaster. And this gun here is your nail gun. All guns with secondary fire in this. And the nail gun secondary fire shoots lava nails, just like Quake 1's expansion, Dissolution of Eternity. And that's not a secondary fire, it's more of an ammo type you can find. So if I die a lot in this, I'm gonna resurrect. I'm warning you that right now. This is quite difficult. It doesn't look that difficult now, but there are enemies in this that are brutally hard. They'll show up randomly, and they're very, very bad. However, at the beginning, it's not so difficult. Like, this first level, I shouldn't have too much problem with the first map, I think. But it does get much harder later on. So... We're playing a pretty difficult game here. I know it doesn't look like that difficult right now, but it is. It's a, it's a quite difficult game, and i got to be really, really on my game to get through this level, and careful, too. For the first two levels, I'm going to be extra careful, but I'm going to kind of relax on that a little bit in level 4, 5, and 6, and whatnot. 3, 4, 5, and 6. I'll be doing those tomorrow night, because I have to do four levels tomorrow night in two videos, so... This first level, I'm just going to basically take my time and try to beat it slowly. 
which is what you should do while playing this. But due to time constraint issues, I will not be able to do that for the next four levels. Which stinks, but... So you're giving lots of enemies in this, and watch out for the exploding barrels, I almost got nuked by one right there. Now that new enemy right there is called a Vorling. You may have noticed him if you've ever played Quoth. Yes, there's Quoth enemies in this. They were converted to the Doom Engine by me. Whether the Quoth team likes that, I really don't care, but I thought they were so cool it was worth it. Now, down here is our next weapon, which is the Quake 2, or Quake 1, single barrel shotgun, I mean. This is definitely a good weapon, and its secondary fire shoots explosive shells, which are the best attack in this whole thing, by a long shot. They kill almost every enemy instantly. So we want to grab that gun as early as possible and use the explosive shells a lot. That's our one chance of surviving this. Now, explosive shells in this are not an ammo type. They're just a secondary fire. This has secondary fires, which are based off of ammo types in the Quake mod I made, called Q1 EXP, which basically took a lot of features from lots of other Quake mods and put them all together in one mod, including weapon fire modes that are unlocked when you um, grab ammo types. In this case, the weapon fire modes don't need to be unlocked in this, which is a little bit of an improvement over Q1 HP. And this is just as hard as Q1 HP was, which was brutally difficult. Q1 HP was really, really difficult for a Quake mod. It added tons of new enemies into default levels. And I no longer have this mod on my hard drive anymore, I don't think. Because I don't really play the Quake games anymore. I play this instead, I like this more. So, yeah. Now watch out, some ogres and some gunners can shoot rockets at you in this, and they're quite bad. That one just really nuked me quite badly. That's because I'm trying to rush through the levels a little bit more than I should. At this game, you don't want to be rushing through the levels because it does get harder, and later levels do have horde combat. Not right away, they don't show up right away because it will be very, very difficult if I do them right away. But there's hordes of enemies in this, just like in Vicious Onslaught, just like in the Serious Sam Revealed series and the Serious Sam Revealed sequel, the Serious Sam Death Encounter, but there are not as many enemies as the, the Serious Sam games I've developed. There's no such thing as thousands of enemies per level in this, at least. But a couple hundred, sure. So deaths per level, I expect two to three deaths per level on default. That's that's pretty much what I do. Some levels will be a little bit easier, like only one death on this level, and I'm going to be resurrecting once I die, because, honestly, I don't want to be replaying previous parts over and over and over again. I find that annoyingly hard. I find it annoyingly hard to do that. I don't like doing that at all. And it's really annoying uh, for people to watch it, too. So I'd rather cheat to get through a map so people don't have to see me die and replay 20 times in a level. It makes the videos longer too. I got a time limit to work on as well. A 15 minute time limit. Now this guy here is an Eddie. Is that a cool thing? Eddie? Now, we gotta go through this locked door. And in this game, things get more difficult than normal Quake. The Quake 4 enemies really add difficulty to the game. And so do the Quoth enemies. We just grabbed the Quake 2 double barrel shotgun there. This weapon's from Quake 1 and Quake 2 in this, and I'm from Quake 4. Quake 4 enemies are something I've seen in Doom mods, but I have never seen the weapons. So you'll never see Quake four weapons in this.
Now, that zombie right there was a very, very deadly one. We killed him really quickly. He's called an automatic rocket launcher zombie. He's bad. Automatic rocket launcher zombies are one of the worst enemies you can run into in this whole thing. If not the worst. I die to them constantly. They're bad, 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 bad. Now here's a prox launcher. It's a grenade launcher that shoots proximity grenades. Its secondary fire, however, is really useful. It shoots nail bombs. We won't be using that much. Every once in a while, I might use it. You can also get a grenade launcher there randomly if you get lucky enough. The prox launcher is a little bit weaker than the grenade launcher. Now that's a freaking Quake 4 Iron Maiden. Quake 4 Iron Maidens aren't to be joked at. They're quite bad. That's a hammer. I'm not going to be picking that up. Well, I will be, but I'm not going to be using it. It's not a very good gun. As a ring of invincibility, invisibility, I mean, I'm not using that either. I don't want to use that power up. It's useful. I find it very disorientating to use it. So you won't see me use that power up ever in this. Now the locked door is going to be around here. That I'm looking for. Getting kind of stuck in this level. It's not here. What the hell could it be? All right, here we go. And that's the end of level two, which took us an extra five minutes to beat. That's the end of video one. I'll continue in video two soon.